Have you heard about the miraculous red soil in Oryu, Tamil Nadu? Did you know about this great saintly martyr and his companions were invited to instruct the Mughal Emperor Akbar the Great on Christian faith? <laughs> you may be thinking, what is this guy Brahman? Where is Oryu and where is Mughal Emperor Akbar? Kindly wait, you'll get to know. If I were to describe John de Brito's life in three words, it would be adaptable, reformer, and martyr. Born in Portugal, St. John de Brito's life was marked by a profound commitment to spreading Christianity in India. From cultural immersion to facing persecution, St. John de Brito's dedication to bridging gaps and fostering understanding shines through. Changing his name to Arulanandam and dressing, eating, and living like Indian rishis and munis displayed his forte for adaptability. Despite knowing a threat for his life, he moved forward as a soldier for Christ, preaching his message and thereby converting the Prince of Marawa Kingdom. Since he stood true to Christ's teachings, he advised the Prince to give up his wives and stay with his first wife. He actually followed it. The sent away wives complained to the uncle of the prince who had Saint John de Brito present and beheaded in Oreo. It is believed that the soil turned red with his blood due to his martyrdom. Now let's drive into another compelling story of a martyr. Blessed Rodolf Aquaviva, a 16th century Italian Jesuit missionary. It is known that from his early days as a young religious, his heart was consumed with a desire to sow Christ in India. Being an excellent academician, he was asked to teach in seminary, which he refused and chose to preach Christ to the people, thereby showing his courage and unwavering dedication to spreading the Christian faith. Later, he was invited as a missionary to the court of Emperor Akbar the Great. Father Aquaviva, another Jesuit, reached Akbar's court in 1580 and hoped that the conversion of India would follow if they could convert the emperor. In spite of being convinced by the truths of Christ's teaching, Akbar didn't convert. And after three years of effort, he returned to Goa disappointed. Later on, he was martyred along with four other Jesuits who accompanied him. Fathers. Peter Berno, Alphonsus Pacheco, Anthony Francis, and brother Francis Arnia in Salset. As I look at the life of St. John de Brito and Blessed Rodolphe Aquaviva, a tapestry of faith, resilience, and missionary spirit emerges. Their stories resonate across centuries inspiring each one of us to transcend boundaries and embrace the diversity of humanity. Together, they exemplify the transformative power of unwavering belief and the profound impact one individual can have on the world.